Um, <laughs> thank you for coming. If you're watching this, we just thought we were going to shoot some videos to show how I stuck the fridge and thought maybe if people were online, they would like to see and ask questions while we're doing it. So um, I only go grocery shopping once every three weeks and I keep produce fresh the entire time. So during the other two hours of calls today, I have pulled most of the produce out of my fridge and it's sitting on countertops. Um, but we thought that we would show you um, from the beginning what it looks like when I restock. So I'm going to show you my very, very empty fridge and we'll kind of go through what's in here real quick. And then I'm gonna start putting stuff in and um, Mike is going to help answer questions um, that you guys have while we're going. And I will be in and out of the screenshot a lot. So I'm going to be grabbing stuff from the counters and seeing how it's going to fit in this time. So this is what it looks like when it's going to be, well, this is what it looks like when it's completely empty um, because it's all over on the counter because we've been working on it. So anyways, my empty fridge, empty, empty. So can you see in there? I left the ginger root in here. <coughs> So this is the ginger root, and these are the ones that I have been working on on the head cut over the last month or so. And then I always, at the bottom of my drawers, I put a seasonal napkin. Um, so I change those out. So in the summertime, there'll be cute little things, or Easter I'll have little carrots or bunnies or something. And then this is my drawer that always has the lemons and the avocados in it. Um, I just have two avocados right now. Um, and then I'm gonna put the rest of the citrus in here. And then these eggs are our hard boiled eggs. We have chickens, so the only eggs that we have in the refrigerator are our hard boiled eggs, and the other ones are in the cupboard. Um, only put eggs in the cupboard if they come from chickens and not from the store. Um, then we have our, <laughs> people can, yeah, they'll be um, asked, that question will be asked. Um, we have a rutabaga and a turnip that has just been randomly thrown in here. Um, that was from like last month. This is a Spanish artichoke chip from the other day and hemp hearts. And then I have some, a couple of them, um, red cabbage, sauerkraut, and the uh, mozzarella balls. So good. <laughs> and the um, dates. And have you to... store leftovers? Yeah. I'm gonna have to open and close this oh. so it doesn't beef the whole time. Uh, shredded cheese, I normally store in a jar. So, anyways, things will be moving in and out. This is leftovers from last night. We had French dips and um, sweet potato fries, and then I made an extra sweet potato for me for lunch this week. And that beef is going to drive me nuts. This is um, basil packed in oil from this summer. So, um, it was basil that I got and then you covered it with olive oil so you can use the um, oil or the basil um, all year long and it'll last and then you can add it to like salad dressings or Italian dishes and then what else is in here we have peaches that I canned and there's more sauerkraut I'm gonna have to just close that for a second this is flax seed and then more sauerkraut back there we just kind of I have it hidden everywhere and down in this drawer, can you see down there? We have like our lunch meat. This is all the cheese that was left from the charcuterie board the other day. This is Cougar Gold cheese. Go Cougs! <laughs> from WCU. Um, my Parmesan cheese that I'm always into. And then extra butter. And then I will refill our little cheese drawers for snacks. And then on the um, door here, we keep our mustards and some of our salad dressings. This mustard's almost gone, so it's in that. Um, I made the ketchup, so it's in a jar. This is um, ranch. We're going to do a homemade ranch um, recipe soon for you guys. And relish applesauce that I made from scratch, mayo, elderberry syrup, and this is um, balsamic glaze. That is <laughs> the key. <bomb>. key. <laughs> And then over here we have salsa oh. that I made, and I think this is apple jelly, apple syrup, pickles I made. Hit those again, I didn't get it. These? Apple syrup? Pickles? Some salsa, we have like a hundred more jars on the shelves. 
This is a secret uh, spinach dressing recipe that I make. Uh, oil packed tomatoes, sun dried tomatoes. Some more salad dressing. Oh, there's some more sauerkraut up here. And then we have the cilantro and the Italian parsley. And this one's the actual open sauerkraut for the regular sauerkraut. And then this is some teriyaki sauce and barbecue sauce and Italian dressing. And then, I'm close this for a second. Let's see if it stops weeping. And then we keep our milk. Close both of them. I will. Um, we keep our milk, um, which we get delivered from a local dairy on Tuesdays. So um, this is all we have right now and whipping cream. And then we have some Laird's um, superfood creamer. Um, which we get in the powdered form, but I just saw that when I went to the store the other day and was excited about it. Um, and then Greek yogurt, um, I put it in a glass jar and it seems to last longer, but even the expiration on date on that is November 22nd, so it still lasts a while. And I bought it a couple weeks ago. I didn't buy it on this shopping trip. So I'm gonna let that close for a second. Are there any questions? Um, like, how do you store leftovers? And my husband is going to be like, why is everything so organized? <laughs> so you eat the snacks. <laughs> you eat the fruit. We try to only have leftovers for two days. So if we're going to eat the leftovers the next day, um, that's how much I try to cook for. If it's more than that, then I try to make it bigger so it can be a whole nother dinner. And then I put it in the freezer for batch cooking. So, so we only have maybe like this much room taking up by leftovers at any given time. So in here I have celery. There, it's not in water, it's just in there. Normally it's in a flat container. This was just what I did last time. And then there's um, radishes. Normally I have radishes cut up too. I just haven't yet. Um, there's some radishes. And then this one is peppers. This is getting heavy and I don't want to drop it. And then I have um, a red onion that I cut up last week. And it's still like totally good, totally fine. And then these are leeks that I cut up and they're all prepped and ready to go. That's from October 30th. So we kind of call this the salad basket drawer. So everybody knows if they're gonna make a salad, that's the container that they grab. And then next to that up here, I have these little um, white dishes. I got these at Marshall's. I did find them on um, eBay, but they were a lot more than what I paid at Marshall's for them. And I've had them for a long time, so I don't have a link for them, but they fit perfectly up there. Um, so I normally store our peppers in that. This one's a little bit wrinkly. When we get done with these peppers, I would cut this one next. And then those other two will be fine for a couple weeks. And these peppers are, they're a couple weeks old already. And then I have one more. I wish we could just turn it off. Hi. <clears throat> I don't know. Um, these are sweet tooth peppers. They're sweet, but I just like how they look in recipes, and so I always pick them up when I'm at the farmer's market. Um, they come Normally there's yellow ones too, but um, I just think they look pretty, and so I grab them when we're down there. So... Yeah. Maybe just do a quick recap on what things you store in a jar and what things you're. it's okay to just put in the fridge. Because um, the peppers are just... Yeah, the peppers are just in the They're kind the of fridge. both, but... Um, these yes, are they're... root vegetables, and since they have open tops where they cut off the tops, then I keep those in the fridge. But if it was where I got them from the garden and kept the tops on a little bit, then they wouldn't have to be in the fridge. Um, what else do I keep? Yeah, so the peppers just live up here. We pretty much always have peppers up there. We always have lemons and avocados in this drawer. And then um, in the wintertime, I buy more oranges, so the oranges will go 
winter, fall right now. Um, the oranges will go in this drawer with them. And then this drawer over here, um, I will store cabbages and um, any carrots I didn't cut, like those kind of things. Oh, and the cauliflower. I'll just do that right now. I just throw the cauliflower in there. So the cauliflower and I have a little cabbage. Where's that? Right here. A little cabbage, I'll just throw those in here and they'll just sit there. And then I have some carrots that I'm not cutting up tonight. And I just tuck those in there too. So those just seem to go in the back. I'm gonna close this for a second. Are there any questions while I grab more stuff? Not really any questions, but if you have any questions, Throw the questions in the comments and uh, let us know where you're joining from. That's always fun. Okay. This one gets asked a lot. These are cucumbers. So, oops, sorry. So the cucumbers, I will normally wash and just throw in the crisper drawer um, for the first two weeks or so, and then as I need them for the salad jar, then I will, salad basket, whatever you call this, um, then I will slice them up. And when I start slicing them up, I just slice them all up, and then they last another week. Like this, they last a little bit longer when you keep the skins on. And then cherry tomatoes, I guess everybody has problems with cherry tomatoes. I wash them and dry them and I put them in a jar and they will last a month. So um, we have the cherry tomatoes and the mozzarella balls and um, basil, on mm -hmm. the <laughs> basil on the window seal and then the balsamic reduction and my husband has decided this year when I forced him to have one finally um, that he loves them. <laughs> <laughs> so um, just keep trying if they won't eat them from the beginning. Do you cut up the cauliflower? Nope, I, I break the leaves off and get it out of the glass and just throw it in the jar. And normally it lasts like two to three weeks. And why do my carrots go limp? They do. Um, if you wash them, um, it helps kill off any mold off of them. And then if they do go limp because they've been in there for too long, then just put them in filtered water overnight and it'll refresh them to like brand new. So, and then let me get these. Need a lid for this. Oops, so I normally store the carrots like this and um, peeled and in strips and then that way as a snack you can just grab it really easy and then if I want them smaller it's easy to um, just cut up. So and then I normally always um, store them in these flat snapware containers and which are from Costco they're like $24 for the whole set um, that you get from Costco and then the um, they're also in my Amazon store uh, for the Pyrex snapware so not a question but a comment I can't believe how much longer my produce has lasted since doing this no more wasted food woohoo Woo thank you so much also uh, onions is somebody storing their onions in the fridge and the other produce is tasting funny or smelling funny? Oh, okay. So do, where do you store onions? What kind of onions? Oh. Okay. If you didn't see the last video, green onions go on the window seal. I'm not going to go into that because that was in the whole last video. I did a big, long thing about that. But if you store um, chopped onions or any onions in glass, then um, it won't smell up the fridge. So normally if I'm cutting up an onion, I'll just cut up the whole thing and then put it in glass. And then this is the rest of the cilantro, or the green onions that I was using earlier as a demonstration. So that'll just go in the fridge. And so then, about, what about onions that you just get from the store? Like what do you? Oh, the onions from the store, I just put in the pantry in a dark spot away from your potatoes. You need to make sure that they're at least three feet away from your potatoes. Um, so potatoes and onions are, are not, not buddies. buddies. Nope. But avocados and lemons Our are buddies. buddies. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah. Who knew that vegetables have buddies? They have buddies. They have people they don't like. Or no. Not people. They have things they don't like. So, 
these oranges are the ones that we had from before. So when I put them in the um, drawer, I'm going to make sure that I put those on top. Even though my husband's going to grab these cuties first because he loves them. And we haven't had them in a while. But if you wash them when you bring them home, they'll last longer. Um, because the stores and the farmers, if there's moldy ones, they just toss them out. But the mold is still lingering on the other ones. So these are the ones. And I'll be like, Mike, you need to eat these first before the other ones. Because these are three weeks old. And then I'll just put the avocados back in there. So the cilantro... Is that similar to the green onions? Cilantro. Oh, the cilantro is right here. So, well, that one's parsley, actually. And then the cilantro. In the last video I just did, where I'm wearing the same outfit, um, I went into this a whole lot about how I um, keep them in filtered water. Somebody just sent me a picture like a half an hour ago saying that their green onions weren't working and she had used city water and... Um, it wasn't working so it's really important to use filtered water if you have uh, filtered water in your fridge it's better than tap water but either way filtered water is key so let me see what I can fit back in the fridge here let me grab the lettuce okay so, just keep kind of moving things around until I get it where I want. The lettuce I always seem to put right here by the salad, and the blueberries I seem to put right there next to it. People know if they're grabbing snacks, it's where to grab. You can't see what that is, so I'm going to write on the glass. Seven, eight. Okay, and I showed this earlier, but this is bok choy from the last shopping trip. So early October. So I'll make sure to use this up this week, but it's still like totally healthy lettuce from October 3rd or 5th, whatever day I went shopping early in October. Also to uh, watch the other live videos that are replayed on Instagram that goes through the what, what Amy means by washing the vegetables. It's a vinegar water solution, and it's detailed out in those uh, videos. Close this for a second. Let it stop deep beeping. Things that I want us to eat that you'll see, because it's all about making sure, you know, other people know what's in the fridge. Then I'll hide like the sauerkraut in the back or the cheese in the back that I know that you're going to go look for. And I would put like cucumbers up front that you might not go look for. And then um, the half gallon and the gallon size jars fit over here. And I moved the strawberries down to a half gallon size because it was it would fit in there. And this is the rest of the celery. I cut up some of it, and then um, this is the rest from today. But I probably wouldn't have bought it except I was doing the demonstration. But we still have celery up here from the last shopping trip, and um, so this celery I would use last. What was that? What kind of bag is that? This is a stasher bag. Um, they are the bomb. The bomb. Um, they're silicone bags that you can put in the wash machine or dishwasher and um, dishwasher and in hot water and they won't shrink and they last forever. They are expensive, but they're worth it. Okay. That you can show me that's 
It's driving me nuts. I'm going to be honest. Well, it keeps the fridge cold and <laughs> it keeps the fridge components working properly. Uh, nope. Uh, we've, we've touched on all the questions. If you have any questions, keep bringing them in. Bringing them in. Okay. Questions about what can be, maybe what can be stored next to each other, what, uh, what type of containers these are, where to get the containers. This is, um, oh, this is tricky stock, actually. But um, we're going to be doing a video on that this week. This week? This week. So, well, I'm making it this week. It actually, you guys might not see it until next week. Okay, we'll see. Um, these Russell sprouts are from September 18th. So, I talked about that in the other video, but September 18th um, are these Brussels sprouts. And they're still perfectly, perfectly perfect. And I bought four, I actually bought this, I mean I buy it all the time, but I bought it for a reel that I wanted to do that was funny and I didn't save it, so. Do you leave, oh, hold on, oh, we're getting some questions in now, oh. Got some questions, huh? Yeah. Did you post something about how to dry the stasher bags properly so there's no mold? Oh, um, that's funny. I just hang them upside down. Just let them air dry, basically, right? Yeah, air dry, but opened up air dry. Yeah, opened up. So I put them over a mason jar or, um, yeah, whatever I can set it over after it's went through the dishwasher. And then do you leave maple syrup in the plastic jug or transfer it to a mason jar? Real maple syrup? Um. Uh, hold on, let me just go grab it. Yeah, yeah. We've got some super good maple syrup. <laughs> I know. <laughs> super good maple syrup. Yeah, yeah, there's that's one, one of them. Yeah, and then there's another one. The too. other one's even <laughs> super good, too. So, I get the, um, the glass jar um, organic um, maple syrup from Costco. So this one has vanilla and it has the vanilla bean and it. That's what these little things are. And the, the other one is a bourbon, um, bourbon vanilla. Mm. <laughs> and, um, anyway, so yeah, they're already in glass and I don't store them in the refrigerator. So, um, I don't even think, does it say to? No. Yeah. Oh, it does say refrigerator after. We honestly go through it so quickly, it doesn't matter. It's all good. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't normally store it in the refrigerator, and um, I get I get it in the glass bottle. And one of the things we use maple syrup for is to put in our coffee. Yes. It's amazing. Amazing. Okay. So, this is the pomegranate from oh, earlier. Oh, we might have another... Can I take the strawberry tops off before storing them? Yes, but they will only last. Um, they will only last a week after you um, take the tops off. Take the tops off, yeah. So it's kind of like a progression. Like you wash them, keep the tops on, and then after a while, if there's still some in there, then you can take the tops off, and then after a while, you can slice them up and maybe use them for waffles. Waffles. Oh, I know it. I put it in my coffee too. All right. Yeah. All right. We're going to put it where I can only put it. It's just a little bit bigger. So it takes a little trial and error. Some things, the containers aren't always the same and they get moved around and you just have to make things work. Just make it work. And then this is another stasher bag of um, spinach. I think I'm just going to throw the spinach in the freezer. Where do you store breads? And also, I see no juice or breads in your fridge. Uh, no breads in our fridge. And um, we don't drink much juice. So... Sometimes we have it. The orange juice would yeah, be like in yeah. the... We, oh, yeah. I guess... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess we haven't 
done the, um, yeah, I'm sorry. I have a craft that I normally put over here, but we haven't had orange juice in a while. Yeah. So, um, yeah. And then sometimes I'll set, I'll put the drink crafts here. Normally we have like lemon ginger water and that's what I make and put over here. Especially in the summertime. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, what else do we have to go in there? We have some grapes that were on the stems. Oh, the asparagus. So it's kind of just trial and error. These are grapes. These are ones that were off the stem that just fell off while I was doing it. So I want us to eat these first before the ones that are on the stem because they'll, they'll get wrinkly faster than the ones that are on the stem. So I'll just keep them here and they'll get eaten in the next day or so. And then the asparagus I'm putting in here. What else do I have left? Asparagus? Asparagus and eggs. That was a good meal. Bacon. With bacon. bacon. And that's the onions that are left over. Peaches back there. Oh, there's still peaches? I didn't see those. There are peaches. You can have them on your cottage cheese. I know. I ate all the cottage cheese. The milkman comes on Tuesday. I know. I'll have to wait till Tuesday. <laughs> okay. Just place that for a second. And then I'll show you how I'm really OCD about my cheese. Is there water in the bottom of the asparagus jar? Yes. yes. There's filtered water. In the jar that has the asparagus, it keeps it fresh. Filtered water is also in the broccoli, parsley, cilantro. All those are in the fridge. And they're left uncovered, just like you saw them. Where is the meat? In the freezer. The meat's in the freezer. Uh, I'll talk about that in a second. Yeah, we'll talk... Yes, we eat meat, most of us. Um, we have we buy our meat from a butcher once a year or a farmer once a year, and um, so we have a meat freezer. And then I go downstairs and pick out what I want to have. Normally, I I kind of decide like every two days what I want, and then I'll pull out um, what we're going to have and. Um, it depends on how much room we have in the refrigerator, what I do. But normally I'll put it in a glass tray and then I'll put it like underneath here while it's defrosting. Um, let's see, right now we have some meat that's sitting over there on the counter. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Um, in my next life, I want you for a wife. <laughs> that's funny. And then what state do we live in? We live in Washington. Washington so, State. So, um, we just had daylight savings time, and it seems to be messing everybody up. So, I'm going to always just say that it's Seattle time, and um, yeah. not mess up the times for the lives. Yeah, Pacific. So, yeah, Pacific, Seattle time. Um, it makes me really happy when these are in color order. I'm not going to lie. So, I don't know if I have enough to do them in colored order, but I really like when they're... I, I didn't do it, though. I did it. You guys tell who restocks. Yeah. Do you, you teach meal planning? I will. Um, the meals will be more like batch cooking, so you can um, only have to cook like two to three days a week because that's kind of what I do. And um, that way you can put meals in the freezer and be able to pull out meals two to three times a week, um, which is my favorite way to live. And yes, we do have a generator to back up our freezer. We yep. have had a generator for several years, and we, when the power went out, we would just have to use extension cords to keep the, the essential things working. But recently, we got a, one of the head electrician come out and hooked up our house to so we can just plug in the generator to outside the house. Um, made it way simpler. If we were going to have like a really long like natural disaster um, power outage that. We wouldn't have power for weeks. I do keep enough jars and propane so I could um, pressure cook anything that was defrosting in the freezer too. Um, so 
like we have we have backups to our backups. Then how far in advance do you take the meat out before you eat it? It depends on how big it is. So um, I normally plan two days in advance. Um, we do have a garage refrigerator. And so I pulled a ham out of the fridge. That beeping sure me crazy. <laughs> I pulled a ham out of the freezer that's going to take like three days to defrost. And I put that in the fridge yesterday so we can make room for our turkey that was going in there. Um, but otherwise, I normally plan like two days out. And if it's chicken, frozen chicken, like just normal chicken breasts, then I just cook those frozen so I don't have to pull them out. So if I do put it in the fridge, I put everything in glass so it's not going to leak or anything. All right. Any other last minute comments? We've got everything back into the fridge. And we are wrapping it up. One last. One last look. So this kale, I'll just say that. Um, if I don't eat this fresh, if I don't find out what meal that was that I bought it from, we normally eat kale frozen, so I'll probably just cut that off the stems and throw that in the freezer, and that'll give us a whole bunch more space there, too. So, interesting. I've never heard of this before. Maybe you have, Amy. You take the meat straight from the freezer to the fridge, and you don't soak it in water before. No. Hmm. Yeah. No, our meat... Here, let me go. Our, our meat comes um, from a butcher, so it's wrapped... Um, in paper and so yeah I wouldn't want to put that in the in water. Interesting. Yeah. So yeah because I do it for two days. I plan ahead for two days so it's defrosted. So give a shout out if you like the fridge, if you like the organization, if there's anything you see that might be able to improve on. I think it looks pretty good. I think it tastes pretty good and I think it's easy to find stuff. Oh this is if I had littles that were reaching in here, I would put the asparagus up tall and um, and not down here where they would get knocked over. But since I like all the things that are prepped up where we can see them, I like them up there. But for littles reaching in, I would be putting the broccoli and stuff up higher. So, anyways, there's our yep. fridge. So we're saving this video again like we always do. Oh, no, we're not sharing this one, though. Oh, we're not going to do this one? No. Oh boy. Yeah, this one's not going to get posted oh, on the ground. Oh, so what do I know? So if you didn't catch this one live, <laughs> then you Keep won't Keep tuning it. in. You'll never know. <laughs> and any tips for getting started, the time needed to prep everything and the cost of all the containers seems overwhelming. Okay, that's a great question. So I kept track the last two months because I was kind of curious. So in September, I spent $87 on produce. And then this this one, it was right... $92 was on produce, so both times it was under $100. We don't throw any of the produce away, and we eat fresh stuff every single day. And um, so, yeah, so like right at $100 is what I spend on produce. And I do buy in season and, and things that are on sale, and I buy mostly organic everything if I can get it. <laughs> and um, we're in this really tiny little cramped space to film this right now. But um, anyways, the the glass stuff, um, when I first started doing this, I just used um, recycled pickle jars and spaghetti jars and stuff. So um, it doesn't have to be in glass. People ask me that all the time. But when I switched over to using glass instead of the plastic, I noticed a drastic um, difference in time um, how long things are lasting but just start with what you have and you know you're going to be saving money <laughs> why are you laughing somebody's like thinking love it is your hubby allowed in the fridge or do you get stuff out for him no. i try to leave it at least as good as i left it i try not to be like the bull in the china china uh the china store but it uh yeah everything is I sneak stuff in there every once in a while, and she's like, where did this come from? <laughs> this doesn't go here. What are you doing? No, normally he puts it in a square container when I want it in a round container or something. But, no, that's why um, the things that he gets into, you can see, like, right here. The things that I get into. <laughs> I know he'll go looking for the, um, the, you know, snacks or whatever, but if I want him to eat salads or veggies, um, and that's what we did with 
our kids and stuff too, our littles. But. Yes, for sure. Save the pickle jars. Pickle jars and that yeah. kind of stuff. Any glass jars you get, you can reuse for this type of uh, activity. Yeah. And then I get asked too, um, dollar store glass containers um, are fine. Um, I just wouldn't, if you're going to can at all, I would never can um, pressure can or water bath can um, in a jar that was not a ball brand jar. So um, I get asked that a lot. So I only buy the, the canning jars because I'm a canner and I don't want to mix them up. Any other ones? All right, last time for questions. I think we've caught up on everybody. But feel free to comment on any of the other Instagram posts, ask questions. Let us know where you're from, what state, what country, what planet. <laughs> We're going, so this weekend we posted four hours worth of videos trying to answer questions because I only do this once a month. So um, we wanted to show you what we do in our own home. This video that we're doing right now, I was actually trying to get little um, snippets of video because I'm going to put some of these snippets on TikTok. Um, we're not going to be putting this up live as a replay. So if you caught this live, it's like something that nobody else got to do. Um, and I might save it and put it on the Patreon account. So um, only the Patreon members will get to see this. So if you haven't, um, signed up to be a Patreon member yet, you go to the links in the bio and um, there's a Patreon link. It's um, patreon.com backs, I would say backslash, backslash <laughs> the cross legacy. So, mm. and then if you're on TikTok, look for me on TikTok too. Um, again, those are only really replays of what I'm doing on Instagram. And that is the cross legacy one, the number one. So everything is the cross legacy. Um, for all the different platforms. Are we good? We're good. I think we're good. Take care, so. everybody, and have a good night. All right, have a good night.